All right, all right, one. Well, being an a a reality reality show girl, <laughs> let's go have a look at some of our red ones videos. <laughs> So, why you? Why, uh, why it's way you? Way you? Okay, okay. Am I pronouncing it wrong? Yeah. Why that title and w does it have any um, meaning to you? Way you? Yeah, it does. Um, the sound way you. Mm. Um, I think it's a Hausa. Okay. Um, way you, way you, which stands for You're sadness. not Hausa, so I'm, I'm not, not Hausa, but I, 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 I grew up in the north. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Coming back to Kumasi, I think I was in JSS before I started learning Abed. So I'm more oh, comfortable well. with the, uh, the state religion. So I'm not surprised you're taking that channel on person, person, Afropop. Okay. why are you laughing? So yeah, I was thinking, when I was growing up there, every time you hear someone wailing, where you going? I'm like, mm. why does where you has to stand for something bad? Mm. So I wanted to write something about that. Mm. So I, 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 I realized, okay, where you stands for something that is hurtful, something mm. that is painful. Mm. So why don't I write a song that the video will be shot in a castle? Because mm. we all know castle stands for something yeah, sad yeah. for mm. us because mm. it was a slave trade thing. Yeah, right. So I wanted to show to the world that we don't have to be wailing about our sad or our pain all the time, okay. but rather we can harvest that energy. Okay, we can channel it into a something positive. One. And that right. is why I chose the title, Where You. Mm. And that is why the video is even shot at the castle. castle. And in the castle, you could see that we are having fun mm. to show the world that we are not dwelling on the, on past. the past. We are moving forward and we want something positive right. and we can channel our past pain into something positive and productive. Wow. And um, if you listen to the song very well, you realize there's a sentence that goes like from Ghana to Niger. Okay. And I brought that sentence in it to reflect on the relationship we between Ghana and, and Nigeria. Because, you know, we are, I don't yeah, know like what is this. Family. Sister, we are family. Apart from Ghana and Nigerian Jalof War, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we are siblings. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see so i wanted to reflect on that mm. so basically um the song before I, I i go forward um i was with the corporate world for a while okay. i worked with a debt, re okay. a debt recovery firm and oh. then later was moved from there to high court okay. general jurisdiction to supreme court wow and then trying to juggle both mm. music and corporate and your day world job right? was difficult i can imagine so i remember there was a time i was in the office and i said to myself <sighs> I would love to have a massage right now. <laughs> and it was a working hour. Um, then I was like, whoa, I'm writing a song about the dilemma that we went through, um, or let me say the pain that we went through mm, as Africans, African. as Ghanaians, mm. based on the slave trade. And 
from the northern region i hear people wailing mm. and here i am stressed mm. i'm going to combine all these three mm. and tell the corporate world no sometimes it's okay to pause and have fun have fun just pause have mm. fun turn that pain into mm. fun fun it doesn't have to be where you it yeah. can be where you yeah where you in the mall where you you understand okay. so that's how the so whole here where you is more of an exclamation yeah, it could be a good one yeah a surprise you one. might think i'm suffering but, but man, i mean I'm you're having, having fun, fun suffering well having fun path. doing what you love. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's got a more deeper having meaning. Having fun suffering yeah. has deeper meaning. Yeah, you know? it's got a more deeper meaning. Yeah, so right. Yeah. So who shot this video? It's a beautiful one. Yeah, oh, he, he's um he's part of my management. His name is Ebo, um, Slingshot, mm. and um, he directed the video, mm. and um, the concept was created by my management. Obviously, after I told them the meaning of the song and what it stood for, they then decided, okay, fine. We're going to work with something like that. So. Right. Ridwa, your last words and then your, your social media handles for people to get interactive with you. Okay. Um, as you know, the name is Ridwa. Ridwa. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and co. And um, my last words, to, I want to talk to my fellow artists, especially those who are not upcoming like me. I want to inspire them to keep going. Mm. Uh, when we started, you were talking about me being on reality shows sure. and here and there. Believe you me, it wasn't good. I can admit to that. But it didn't bring me, it didn't, it didn't shatter my Agreed. confidence or my, right. yeah. Because I saw it as a platform to learn. Mm. Here I want to do music. Mm. I didn't have the resources mm. to boost. Music is not just about having the voice or right. having the talent I can write. It's capital intensive. Thank you. Very much and so. you need to learn. You need to understand what you are doing. Mm. So I realized that there were a lot of things that I needed to know. Mm. And the only way I could do that was get into any reality show that is available. Because that's mm. an opportunity for, for me you, as an artist. Platform. So yeah, I rushed into any reality show to grab everything that I can get. Even if I'm dropped mm. earlier or in the middle mm. or late, I don't care as you long as I try. get something mm, that I it. need out of it. So my my what I want to tell my fellow upcoming artists is that don't don't sleep. Don't be lazy. Mm. Don't be lazy artists. Mm. Work. Mm. Every time you see any small opportunity, mm. don't think it's, it. it's, it's... No opportunity is too small. Yeah. Thank grab you, it and then grab the opportunity and work, work, work. Romeo. And also, yeah. don't forget to promote Africa. I mean, Ghana, yeah. Right. Yeah, I feel like um, this season, I'm um, advocating for underground artists. artists right. Uh, event organizers should know, should help their own budget mm. by putting a lot of underground artists on their bill. Get mm. about some reasonable number of artists who can end your show and mm. then get a reasonable number of underground artists who can start, who your, can show. start your show. In as much as I'm advocating for them, I'm also advising them. Those who help you to get there, mm. don't forget them because yeah. this is why sometimes it's even difficult to promote them. You know mm. why? When they become big, big. you see, uh, for instance, when you ask Rilwa to come here, she would come, but next time when she becomes big, big. Mm. and you're calling Redwa, Red she'll tell you she's not available. available and <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's, yeah. it's the attitude. We've mm. seen it over and mm. over again. Right. So this is an advice that mm. whoever helps you, don't forget that person. Right. The hand that feeds you, don't bite, don't bite it. it. Handles. Mm. Ambassador Romeo on Twitter. Ambassador, Ambassador Romeo on Instagram. Instagram. Okay, thank you, lady and gentlemen. All right, let me go for a quick commercial break. When I come back, the show continues. Stick and stay with me.